On today's show, Chinese startup Neo unveils its third electric vehicle. Volvo trucks will start selling electric semis in the U.S. in 2020, and we'll share our driving impressions of the new Ford Ranger. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the voice of the global automotive industry. While light vehicle sales in the U.S. are starting to slow, sales of medium and heavy-duty vehicles continue to soar. Ward's Auto reports that big truck sales were up 12% in November. That increase was thanks to a 21% gain in the heavy-duty Class 8 segment. The medium-duty Class 4 through 7 vehicles were up about 3% last month. But it's going to be a great year for big trucks. Through November, sales are up nearly 20% compared to a year ago. In another big truck news, Volvo Trucks announced it will begin selling an electric Class 8 semi in North America starting in 2020. But before they go on sale, the company will test its VNR electric trucks in California next year. They'll use the same propulsion system that's currently featured in Volvo's FE electric trucks. Ride-hailing vehicles rack up a lot of miles, which means they need to be maintained much more frequently. So in order to help keep vehicles in a safe working condition, Toyota has created a new maintenance service for ride-hailing companies. Called Total Care Service, it uses onboard telematics data to optimize maintenance schedules for vehicles in the fleet. It's first being launched in Singapore and will be used by the mobility company Grab. As part of the partnership, Grab will increase the number of Toyota vehicles in its fleet 25% by 2020 and it will look to implement Toyota's production system in its business to help improve inefficiencies. Still to come, Kroger begins delivering groceries with autonomous vehicles. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems, and by Exxon Mobil. Kroger recently finished up a pilot program that tested the use of autonomous pods as grocery delivery vehicles. And now customers in Scottsdale, Arizona will be able to use the service. The pods, which are built by Silicon Valley startup Neuro, use public roads, have no driver, and only transport goods. There's no minimum order requirement. You can place the order for same day or next day delivery, and it costs $5.95 to use. So what do you say? Would you use this service? Chinese EV startup NIO has revealed its third electric vehicle, an SUV called the ES6. It's a good-looking utility with styling similar to its ES8. Two electric motors combined for about 540 horsepower, which helps propel the ES6 from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.7 seconds. It will launch with an 84 kilowatt hour battery pack that provides 510 kilometers or 317 miles of range. But we should note that is on the somewhat outdated NEDC test cycle. The first examples will start showing up in the second quarter of 2019, with more variants to follow through the fourth quarter. Mercedes announced that the all-new AMG GT four-door will start at $137,495, including destination charges, and that's in the U.S. That gets you a 577-horsepower turbo V8 engine, mated to a 9-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. The more powerful 630-horsepower S version will set someone back about 160 grand. Both models arrive at U.S. dealers in the first half of next year. We just got the chance to get behind the wheel of the all-new Ford Ranger, and we'll share our impressions right after this hefty 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a 10-speed automatic, which helps deliver best-in-class fuel economy of 23 mpg combined for the two-wheel drive model and 22 mpg for the 4x4. Better still, the engine sounds great when you step into the throttle. Sure doesn't sound like a 4. And that 10-speed shifted smoothly in every situation we drove it, from off-roading to on-highway. The four-wheel drive version offers four different terrain controls, which you can select on the center console, as well as four high and four low. It also has 
off-road cruise control, which Ford calls trail control, and it can be used at speeds up to 20 miles per hour. Not only is it quite a capable off-roader, the Ranger is rated at 7,500 pounds for towing and has an 1,860 pound payload. In everyday driving situations, the steering and brakes are very linear and predictable. The steering has low efforts at lower speeds and is direct and responsive in any quick maneuver. And not surprisingly, the two-wheel drive version rides smoother and responds more quickly to any throttle inputs. Inside, the Ranger has a bit too much hard plastic, such as on the door trim, lower instrument panel, and the center console. That may be acceptable on a base truck with a $25,000 price tag, but even fully loaded versions that can easily top 40 grand are not any more luxurious. Even so, Ford is coming to the market with a very capable truck in a segment it really understands and with a nameplate that many customers have been patiently waiting for. Either the midsize pickup segment is going to grow or Ford is going to steal market share from the other players. But that brings us to the end of today's report. Thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here again tomorrow.